So, have you discussed how much this is going to cost each month? Fingers crossed we're going to keep it the same as what we pay in our current house. About the same, yeah. yeah. But I'm assuming because if mum and dad leave the money in the bank, they're going to get interest on that, so they're going to obviously want to levy a charge yeah, against you. Yeah, I would guess so. I don't know, it's all very early <laughs> at the moment, so it's something I need to discuss with So you haven't talked talk to mum and dad about the prospect of how much this is going to cost you? <laughs> no, yeah, I think we needed to find one and work out a price first, really. Right, OK. That's going to be a worthwhile conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She needs to find how much this money's costing from her mum and dad for a kick-off, and she certainly needs to do a bit more research in how much she's going to have to spend with all the little incidentals, such as the legals and the survey costs, and all the other little things that she's clearly not got a clue that's coming her way. It's time for Richard to see what they're spending their money on. So, <laughs> starting at the bottom, I think. Oh, new look. Yeah, that one was sister's birthday. <laughs> OK. She's a very blessed sister, isn't she? I won't say how much we spent because it's your sister's birthday, but it's that's a nice present, obviously. I don't even know how much you spent. Don't tell me. No, I think I think absolutely he needs to know. <laughs> now no. this is the trick as well. It doesn't matter what you're buying. Charlotte has a right to know how much you're spending, and you have a right to know how much Charlotte's spending because you need that level of trust so you have the same level of understanding. Well, first of all. Don't get emotional, which is very common for first-time buyers. Stay calm under pressure. Number two, check out similar properties in the area using the Land Registry website or other similar property sites to see what houses have sold for in the local area. Number three, consider putting in an offer of 10% less than the asking price. It's likely to be rejected, but it is the start of negotiations. And finally, remember, it's much easier to increase your offer rather than reduce it unless there's a serious problem, such as the survey results. Right, guys, so the help to buy scheme works like this. Let's imagine that this 100 quid we've got here represents £100,000, which is about what we would be looking for, for for a mortgage. So, first of all, the government would give us 20%. Now, interestingly, this 20% would be interest-free for the first five years, which is incredibly cheap. The second thing that we're going to need to find, of course, is our deposit. Now, unlike the more traditional mortgage route, we only need to find, in this case, 5%. So that cuts in half what we originally would need. 10 grand now becomes 5 grand. In a nutshell, there are four different ways you can get a loan from the government. All are aimed at first-time buyers, and they only require a 5% deposit, which is so much easier to achieve. I think the thing that's really stood out for me with Shree is that it's the deal. And that's what he's looking for. He's looking to get himself a bargain. I don't think he's going to buy unless he feels he's got extremely good value for money.